Hello everyone. We are looking at all the uh, Hero Factory ordeal of fire. All the bad guys, all the villains. And uh, well this is basically a recap video and I've been doing this for some time now and if you've been following me this long and you know uh, you, I have done each and every individual review of these guys as well as the heroes so please check out their individual reviews first before you know hopping on to this recap video because I'm gonna be very brief I won't really dive into deep deep details and it would just be what I think of this batch of villains that have been made overall so actually for a better camera angle I'm gonna adjust the tripod I'll be right back there I think it's I, th I think that's much better you get a nice almost a bird's eye view of all the villains so What's special about these villains is that, well, they are the first villains created with Character Creature Building System, or CCPS for short. And it was the first year that CCPS was first introduced into, you know, uh, LEGO action figures. So this was after, like, Bionico retired and, you know, Hero, the first Hero Factory kicked off. And, it, and then now they have a new, their next season here, which is this one, which has a new building system. I know some people, especially OG Bionicle fans, aren't a particular big fan of this building system, but me for myself in particular, I much prefer this over the old Bionicle villains and now they're Bionicle Toa with the really old parts that can snap off so easily. And they can easily, they're so fragile too, like they're not even that sturdy. And you can only do so much with customization. The point of this CCPS system is to, for customization, design your own figures. And you have the flexibility to do that thanks to the system. So, the LEGO designers have tried it for the first time on these villains. There were some ups and there were some downs. Like, I think this this was a very strong start. But there were some unnecessary stuff that were added to these villains that I kind of wish wasn't added to these villains. Um, some exceeded much better than the others, obviously. And then we have our first ever titanic figure fire lord with ccbs so fire lord is the og figure not just in terms of bad guys but just as a hero factory set the first titan figure to be ever made with ccbs so there are four villains in the fire gang and of course the main villain and the leader of the gang is fire lord and um i gotta say these were some pretty pretty interesting batch of villains. I mean, they most of their power, uh, the most of their power is a fire, and uh, I don't know. The concept is pretty. The concept is pretty nice, but not as not as great as uh, when Savage Planet rolled around later in the year. Though so let's start off on the right. We got Nitro Blast. Nitro Blast, I think, was a. He was a recently. He was a pretty decent um, figure. I didn't really enjoy double jointing on the on the flamethrower arm. I think that whole double joint just it just didn't make sense to me. Um, I, yeah, I was just not a big fan of it. But apart from that, his arms are pretty nice. His overall look is very nice. Not a bad start at all. So he's an okay dude. But I think Nitro Blast here has has to be number one. But I'll get to that after I go over all the other villains. So number two, we got Drill Dozer, who is the shorter guy. Actually, he is the shortest out of all of them. Uh, but he is considered the big guy with super tough armor. This one, this one, I can see Lego is trying to go with a different approach with this guy. Because his spear shooter is on his shoulders, he's not actually wielding it. That's fine. And of course, he's drill dozer, so he's got the drill going on. I think the drill is a, it in terms of action figures. It was okay. There could have been some better placements, I think, for him. And I just don't get the point of this. I just rather have it be a normal hand with the shooter holding it instead of the shooter being on the shoulders. There's also this weird connection thing here against 
again, to, I guess it's for the extra um, support of the arm. It just didn't quite make sense to me. But one thing I was very happy with Drill Dozer is the fact that he's got this really nice body build. And the pieces that went into building his body is very nice. You got the long armor piece and you got like that, like that huge... Uh, what do you, do you even call it a chest piece? Just a giant piece you strap on on the shoulders almost like a chest plate. It's very very nice and I uh, yeah this one's an okay okay villain. Drill Dozer. And then we got Jetbug. The yellow guy. He has a different color scheme. Keytor and orange quite different from Waspix later on. Waspix had a school bus yellow. He um, Jetbug has Keytor and orange and of course it says in his name he is a humanoid bug and uh, he's got more of a humanoid perspective uh, character more than a bug perspective <laughs> because oh my goodness my nose is itchy but um i like his leg builds his leg builds were pretty okay his body with that transparent body piece is pretty nice and you've got i feel like his hands you know just two swords or blades one side of the launcher it lacks it's really lacking I feel like it's a little too plain they should have done something else for Jetbug to make his arms look much nicer but uh, another thing I have that's kind of bothering me is that this jetpack is a little way too long I don't think it was necessary to add so many ball joints on the jetpacks, but jet bucket here, not one of my favorites, but he still has some pretty good parts for mock making. I haven't seen anyone with the transparent body armor piece. And finally, we have the big guy, Fire Lord, the main villain, the most expensive ordeal of fire set. Uh, personally, I think he's piece good. Like, a lot of people hate this guy. For one obvious reason, which is the legs, because you can see the exposed Technic pins. And uh, they le later learned that lesson, or LEGO later learned that lesson with Savage Planet when they made Rocket XL. And then later on they made Black Phantom, both using this double leg, double jointed leg. And they've definitely improved. But Fire Lord here was a starter, and I think it was a good start. I think he looks awesome, his face, his head looks awesome. Um, his, the the giant flamethrower he has that that looks cool it's great and uh, honestly people just overlook him overlooked him too much I think this villain deserves way more respect and uh, a lot of people are very disappointed with Fire Lord just with like because they said well the mo the main cons the main complaint was like the legs were too thick and then the body's too thin Personally, I think that's what makes gives them the extra buff and it's it Doesn't feel like they say it feels like an in, incomplete figure uh, Well, yeah, I can see where it's incomplete, but I feel like it's uh, the uh, whole upper section is very nice Maybe the extra support at the back of the arms wasn't necessary But apart from that, I think they did a pretty good job with this one And definitely not a bad start for the first ever Titanic CCBS figure that they've ever made. So, they've done a particularly good job on Fire Lord, and he's definitely overlooked way too much. He deserves a lot more love, I think, definitely. So, before I rate all these from 1 to 10, oh, not 1 to 10, 1 to 4, it's only 4, <laughs> what am I saying? Um, before I sum it up, there is one just one main concern I just have with all these figures is just their dual molded heads, their double sided heads. I get it, Lego was trying to save some money with production when they were making these figures, but I honestly rather pay extra money for different head molds because I'm not a big fan of double sided heads for one obvious reason. Because what if you're trying to take the when you're trying to like film these figures on all different sizes or not size sides, you know, different angles. Let's say you're doing a stop motion film or like just a video. Well, yeah, you but the inevitable part is that if you look back, they all share similar faces. 
So nothing worse than having a nitro blast staring back at you and a drill dozer here and jet bug and then another fire lord at the back. Like the back of their head, if, at least if they should have done like minifigure style because you know minifigures, some minifigures have uh, dual uh, double sided faces and they just simply solve that problem by covering it with a hood, a hat or just something to go on the head. And they should have honestly just done something here. And so it's a problem I have with all these villains. That's why I didn't say, like, in their individual reviews. I just say here, because as a recap, I think this is where all of them failed. It's the fact that with the double, double molded heads. Like, their faces look great. They look cool. Nitro Drill Dozer's face in particular looks the meanest. I like that one a lot. But what I don't like about Drill Dozer is when you turn him around and you see a Fire Lord face staring right at you and it stands out so much that yeah, it looks like Fire Lord is just staring back at himself. And just, I'm not, I'm just not a big fan of double sided faces. It, so I'm gonna say for these figures, never ever look at them from the back. When you're gonna display them, make sure Make absolutely sure that they're displayed on the front. Most of the time, the front is facing you because you are going to regret seeing the back of their faces. But one in particular, Nitro Blast here is actually he's he's been he's the best because his uh, he shares faces with Jetbug, and when you turn around, you don't really see Jetbug reassembling too much because the color scheme is all red. Actually, kind of camouflages pretty well, as well. As the fact that the face is actually isn't too big, it's actually a pretty flat face, so it's not that noticeable. But it's just a problem. All the other figures, especially Fire Lord and Jet Bug, you can see their alternate faces looking back at you. And so yeah, that's just it's my main problem with all of them. Not a big fan of <laughs> double-sided molding for their heads. So. That problem aside, what do I think of all these villains? I said already, they're, I think it's a good start. But, of course, there were some that exceeded better than the others. So, number one on my list will have to be Nitro Blast. Uh, Nitro, Blast is, uh, they've, Nitro Blast has been done a, a really, really good job. You know, they've done, despite his double jointed arm, apart from that, he looks like, he looks like a great villain overall so nitro blast number one number two fire lord the big guy come on guys give him cut him some slack it's just i don't know why i'm i'm particularly satisfied with fire lord so number two fire lord number three i'm debating between jetbug or drill dozer which one looks better i'm going to have to say uh i'm gonna have to say drill dozer I don't like his head, of course, on the other side, but hey, look on the bright side. He's got one of the meanest faces. I like that face very much. And the body build very well. It's, it's done very well. So number three, Drill Dozer. But of course, he has some major problems, which I had with this figure. And then finally, last on the list is Jetbug. Just because I don't like the concept of a humanoid bug. And he's more human than actual bug. See, the thing with Waspix is that she's more creature than actual humanoid. So she she was tolerable, and she actually looks more organic and not mechanical, unlike Jetbug here. So yeah. So Nitro Blast number one, number two, Fire Lord, Drill Dozer, and then Jetbug. So that's my four. Again, these are my opinions, my subjective opinions. So please. Please, 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 don't be swayed by my words. And, uh, yeah. So, those are my thoughts on these fire villains. And so, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And, uh, if you haven't seen the hero recaps, hero recap video, go check that one out too. And then, check out the individual reviews for the audio fire sets, including the villains and the heroes. So, that's it for this one. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel for more. Have a great day. We'll talk to you again in the next one. Peace out.